Adventures of Kraskarek. Welcome back to the Adventures of Kraskarek. It is again I, Kraskarek, as we continue our adventures in Subnautica. So I took some time to remodel and upgrade and pimp out my base to add extra rooms that were needed for storage, for interesting facilities, and even a moon pool so I can park my vehicles. So I'm going to show you how these things work. Uh, very useful add-ons, everything else, and, and uh, how I configured it. So that way we're prepared to adventure deeper and follow the plot further. Yeah. Two titanium ingots, two lead, and a lubricant. Hey, guess what? Uh, two titanium ingots. Well, lubricant's easy enough. We we'll just grab one of these. See like that? Actually, we'll grab one. We'll go ahead and make these into lubricant so I have a bag. All right, what else? Two lead, all right, we got that. And two titanium ingots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And there's, boom, there's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <clears throat> and two. All right, now, now we can go ahead and add what we wanted to do. <clears throat> Question is, do we do it down here or up here? One pool. Where are we gonna get the others? That's a tough choice. Boom! Look at this beautiful thing. Let's check it out. Back to the lot. Where is it? Let's park our one vehicle. After weeks without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological nice. discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing an inanimate object. All right, now. It's more furniture. Something's not right. I'm missing something. I thought it came with this thing, and it didn't. There's a special attachment I can put on, but I, I guess I haven't unlocked it yet that I can put on to let me, uh, Modificate, create modifications for vehicles, but I'm not seeing it. Uh, we're gonna need another one. We could totally do that. Yeah. Oh wait, but that's gonna interrupt with the. Uh, If that connects with that, then, uh, grow bed's still accessible? Maybe what I could do is put... Wait, what? What the hell is that? Why would that be like that? 
what would that do? I don't know. Maybe I can make a room in the shower. Let's see. Uh, titanium. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Let's uh see what happens if I do it. Is that actually... Oh! Oh, nice! <coughs> nice! So it's another floor. So this top floor of this particular setup Would have my private chambers going down one is this isolated room and in here we could put in there you go start bursting. You're right. Alright, so let's see what we're gonna do today. Now. <clears throat> so, what we should work on next... Let me show you what we got so far. So, our first room... First room... As you can see, our beautiful little base. I know, it's expanded. I'm going to explain to you. So here I put a platform down and I put a bunch of grow beds. These are to grow um, uh, certain uh, resources that are harder to get. So yeah, I realize I don't need to be doing these creep vine stuff. It just looks nice because they glow, which is kind of cool. Um, creating a little bit of light around the garden. But, uh, yeah, there's plenty of creep vine around, so that's not necessary. So if I find enough resources that need to be put here, I'll do that. Um, here's some, uh, mushrooms from here, which you can find around the shallows. I went ahead and put them close. These are gel sacks. These are deeper down. These are important to grow here. There's going to be another kind of mushroom that is very, very deep under the ocean that I'm going to need to put here. Uh, there might be one or two things that I can't quite remember. But we're going to grow them out here so that we always have them. Now, when we enter our base, Welcome the first room, we got the radio, we got the fabricator, we got food and water. Good idea. And our storage. This is where we put everything, okay? This is where we store everything. Give it its own place. That's what I usually recommend. We've got a modification station here. And I've got everything I need here. Um, there is the repulsion cannon, but I really don't care about that. Not really. Um, the Cyclops depth module, that's going to be a ways off. Oop. And, uh... <laughs> and, uh, let me, show you the, let me show you around. So on this floor, what we have, we got a battery charger here and a med kit fabricator. Which is nice. Here we go. Throw in another mid kit right there. Yep, yep, some extras. That's an equipment extras box. Come right here. Now, what we do in here is our uh, garden. That's where we grow some of these uh, marble melon plants. And then, hi -ya! You slash one, you get four seeds, and that replenishes your marble melon stuff. 
The EDs, they give a lot of water and food. So these are like the ideal food here in Subnautica. Really good stuff. Over here, I've got some lantern fruit growing. I've got a Chinese potato plant. If I find more, I'm going to be putting little pots around this room as well. In here, we've got some other stuff. These, unfortunately, are decorative. The Ming plant, the Jaffa cup, the grub basket. Those are all decorative, not really necessary for resource or anything. But here we got Chinese potato, lantern tree, and a bobo tree. A bobo tree is another food item that gives a lot of water and food. So I kind of have one of those growing. So what I can do is I can always slash them with a knife to get a seed. Use a knife to get seeds off of plants. So I can um, put more in place when needed. So it'll be really nice when I go to do that stuff. Now we've got a bioreactor in the center of the room. It uses biological material to make stuff happen. So we can grab a couple of these, toss them in, and that will power it. Adding, see the top says power? It adds a lot more power to replenish at the top, much more than my solar power does. So, kind of nice that way. Now, what we do... Oh, yeah, and all... Yeah, so I showed you, I created this little ob observatory room. Kind of nice and pretty. Now, little poster. Now what we do is we'll go up one floor. And this floor... This floor, what I'm going to do is this is going to be the the rest station. So, as you can see, it has a water filtration machine that makes the best stored bottles of water possible. Okay? So, you come here to replenish water, and I take it to the front and store it. Um, I'm also going to install, once I find the recipes, a toilet and a shower. They really don't do anything special. They're just, you know, thematic or whatever. So, that's kind of nice. Close this off. Then we come up here to the top floor. What we have is on this side we have the scanner room. So what's cool is we can go ahead and say, hmm, I'm looking for, uh, let's look for Rex. So it'll scan, and what's neat is you look on this map. Now I've, uh, this thing, you can put in upgrades. I put upgrades for range and maxed it out. So the holographic map, it shows very, very far. Now if you look closely, uh, our, we have cameras, little floating cameras, and this allows you to see the cameras. Uh, they show up on the map right here. I've got one way over there. So we're about here. And, and, and you can see, on, it's kind of hard to see, but this symbol with the little T on the top, that's this building right here. And you can see the pulse as it sends out, checking for resources. See that orange blip? These orange blips are indications of where they are. And then you can see, because I, I purchased one of these, or I made one, a scanner room HUD chip. This streams the data from the scanner room to my HUD. So while I'm not exploring, you see that circle that says wreck? I can swim out toward it. That's the Aurora, actually. I can swim out toward it, and it actually guides me. <clears throat> There's another one down there as well, another wreckage of ship. Pretty interesting stuff. And we cancel it, of course. Now, over here, we have different cameras. So this one detaches from the scanner room, and you can swim around with it to explore up to about 400 meters or so. When you go past 400 meters, it starts getting very, uh... Um... It gets very, uh... Fuzzy. The, the reception gets bad. And you can right-click to turn on a light with the camera, which is nice. See what I mean? So I can have them go and explore uh, areas nearby. So if I build another base somewhere, I could have a camera go and safely scout out areas. It's kind of neat. It kind of just moves around on its own. So, and not only that, but on the left you see it says, oh, discover this, discover that. So it's finding resources that you can... Uh, you know, that you can scan. You can't really pick them up or anything, I don't think. No. <clears throat> but the point is just to kind of scout out the area. So here's the red grass fields that's just next to our base. 
In fact, we've got a camera that's already down there in the purple shrooms uh, area, so that's kind of neat. Ooh. The only bummer, is, the only funny part is these shark creatures, they like to uh, chase the cameras and uh, pick them up and move them around and stuff. It's kind of funny. But they do have power and they need to reattach to the station in order to recharge. So, we can do this, have a camera scout and stuff. A data box? What? Wait, what? <clears throat> New things scanned a data box? Why did it say that? It's indicating that while I'm on my camera. Does that mean, uh... What? Oh, see? See, one of the creatures already grabbed it. Anyway, and he's playing with it. <clears throat> anyway... So that's the kind of thing <coughs> the scanner room's for. Now also on this end I have my living quarters. So I decided to pimp out. So I got an aquarium which I can put some fish into. Got a bed which allows me to change night to day or day to night. Put some posters up. Here's a locker in case I want to store some special stuff. A little snack machine. See that? You can kind of put some chips. Which are nummy. Yeah, mmm, at least you're dehydrated though. A trash can. <coughs> so if you have extra stuff that you really don't want, you can just toss it in there, give it a couple seconds, and it will disappear. It automatically destroys stuff that's in there, see? So that allows you to remove it so it's not laying around your game. I got a nice view down here of our outdoor garden and stuff like that, and all that, you know, that field there, out over there. Got this one, looks, looks out over the little ravine there. It's kind of nice. So, you know, nice little living area. Pretty cute. <coughs> now, we go down. We go down more. Okay, so there's that floor. Now we go down one more tier. And let me show you what we got here. Of course, we have another entrance out, so I've got multiple entrances into these different levels. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Now, we'll go in there. Not sure what I'm going to do with that yet, but here is just another big room. Not sure what I'm going to... Oh, yeah. I think this room I'm going to be turning into an aquarium that's going to take two floors. Like a big aquarium. And I'll, once I unlock that, I can start building that. It'll be nice. Meanwhile, over here we have moon pools. These allow you to store a vehicle, one vehicle per moon pool. It's kind of nice. So right now, as you can see, I've got my sea moth, my little personal mini sub, all docked. Now while it's docked, it's recharging its power, which is nice. And I can come around the side here, and I can access its upgrade panel and switch out upgrades as needed. Pretty cool. This is just a, a power cell charger, so after an adventure, I can either plug him in here and he'll recharge, or I just switch out the power and it'll recharge the battery there. So it's pretty good. No. Thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you again next time on the Adventures of Crash Correct.